Hey guys, Minerva here. Um, working today on a 6x6 album. I'm going to use the Love Clippings uh, 6x6 collection kit by Frank Garcia. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera down. This is probably going to take me mm, maybe a couple of days because kind of a little slow plus uh, I need to do other things so I'll probably have about an hour to dedicate to this before I have to go cook so anyway I'm gonna use uh, Love Clippings by Frank Garcia and I'll be using uh, these two Love Clippings flower collections and some ephemera so that's uh, I did I'm uh, this album is six by six which is great because you can use a whole page of a six by six pad um I put this out of the way so what I did was I had this shipboard I believe I ordered this a while back. I don't know if it was Joanne's or who it was. I never did like it too much. Because when you cut it, it kind of like frays or something. I don't know. It's pretty uh, thick. But I went ahead and used this. I cut it with a uh, craft knife. And I went ahead and marked the one inch on top of each uh, board. I cut six of them and I saw Frank Garcia use this method of hinge which it turns out like this. You cut a three by six strip of paper. I reinforced this paper though with some tie back. This tie back my husband brings it to me from his work. They they get something wrapped up in this to protect it. And this is that, uh, I discovered it has some plastic in it because I glued it with uh, decoupage onto the paper. This is regular uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I glued it onto paper or cardstock with Mod Podge. And three by six and you fold it in half so that's going to be the, the hinge system that you use I like the fact that reinforcing it you know you're going to be opening and closing this so it's going to be reinforced with this material but, but you will have the paper outside that will take the ink so what you do is uh, the first one you put the, the the hinge, you tape it onto the first one inch mark that you had, and then the next board goes on top of this. See, this is the second board here. Then on the next one, you go ahead and put another uh, strip of this on another board on the one inch mark, and then you tape this side. I would be taping this on the next um, thing like this when I got this wet. So what I need to do is make another one inch mark here. I saw a video, uh, he was making an album using this method, I've been wanting to try it, and I'm going to go ahead and use that 6x6 six six pad, so there's the 1 inch mark, the reason you do that 1 inch mark is because you want to have some some of this paper left over on top and you want it to be, you know, 
consistent. I'm gonna have to pause because they're doing the road maintenance. And I'll go ahead and keep adding these to the board. And I'll be back. Okay, they stopped, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. See, I glued the, the, the paper to the one inch mark. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is open this up and glue the other one right on top of the one inch mark here. So I need to put more uh, score tape here. Okay, I'm down to my last page. I have six pages. And for six pages I use five of those three by six hinges. This is the last page. This is the book. See this flap? I glued this side of the flap, flap here. So this flap is going to go right here. On that one inch mark. And I press it real good. And that's the book. It looks pretty even. There was one of the pages that wasn't too even. It's this one here. But it's not that much difference. I ended up with some of this here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe he used six pages. So I'm just going to leave that there for the cover paper. So I'm going to check and cut any excess paper. I should have cut this before, but... pretty good. So the idea behind this is that as you add things to your um, book, it will expand. It will have room to expand. To go ahead and choose the paper that I'm going to use for the cover. See how well it does. I'm gonna need six pages. I like this one. That's going to be the cover. I'm going to need 12 pages. So what I'll do is use the same paper on the other side. Like so. so. I'm going to go ahead and pick the papers. Okay, I forgot that I needed to plug my camera in so that it wouldn't turn off. That way I could be on pause as long as I need it, but I forgot. So anyway, I cut all the top pieces off the, the paper. 
And I already packed the 12 paper that I'm going to use. This is the cover, and then on the next page, I just use the paper that's, you know, the paper on the other side, the other side of the paper. I'm still struggling to make this as straight as I can. And I'm going to go ahead and use the art glitter glue. Let's see how that works. So this is the cover. I'm going to have put I'm going to put too much on this side. Okay. I love this paper for the cover. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like that glue for this because the paper doesn't buckle and uh, you have time to move the paper around. And that's the front cover. So I'm just going to put the back and um, you align the paper to the cardboard, not to the top of the. So you see this was the front cover and this is going to be the paper behind the front cover. that paper is. Okay, that's the front cover. See how the hinge stays uh, clear? Paper goes on the board. And this is the other page, which is the other side of that paper I use for the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these on the board. And I'll be back. Okay, I have all the papers in. And this is what it looks like. That's the back. That one is beautiful. These papers are really, really beautiful. This is one of my faves, the one with the birdcage. And this is the back of the album. So that's the back, and this is the front. So now, I think I'm going to go ahead and ink this. I think he inked all of the pages, I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and get the ink. Okay, so just like uh, Frank did, I went ahead and put some uh, lace in the center of each page. I was lucky enough to have enough of this uh, trim. Very similar. It's got a uh, scallop on one edge and straight on the other. This is from Ofre. I got it at Walmart. <clears throat> so I put some of that on each center. I'm using hot glue. Then I glued uh, this nice doily. I think this one was sent to me by Gal. Gal Fleming. Fabla 4. 
pretty sure she sent me this uh, beautiful doily. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the tips just to secure it completely. And using this uh, spatula so that I don't get burned. Because the glue seeps right out of the little holes. I don't think it will harm any anything if I use hot glue. So now I'm going to get some flowers. Mm. I did do, I did make a mistake. This book is supposed to open this way. I was going to use it this way, but I realized it looks much better if you open it from the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, use it that way. And wherever there is something that looks like it's upside down, I'll just add a, one of those shipboard um, embellishments. And I'll fix that that way. So instead of using a paper uh, doily, I decided to use this because I, I really think it looks prettier. It looks much better with that. Okay, so this is what I have for now. I went ahead and changed the wooden beads on the, these flowers. And I need to put more flowers around here. I found this fountain. I've had it forever. And it's from Prima. And it's... Uh... Shabby Chic Treasures Antique Garden Scents. And it has another one that's a metal color. And... This is item number 892326. Like I said, I've had this forever. I don't know if they still have this. Uh, it says 2014 and this one is white and it has a little faucet there real cute and this is what I have for now I only put the lace like I said and so I'm gonna cut the video here and upload it and I'll continue working on this tomorrow have a little bit of glue there So that's it. I'm going to upload this video. This one says it has 8 minutes. So I'll see you tomorrow guys.